Did you know the goal isn't to be happy all the time? There are some real reasons for this. Want to hear more? Let's jump in. You've heard of unconditional love, but have you heard of the secret to unconditional happiness and allowing more into your life? More wealth, more success, and more love. More freedom in your life right now. Welcome to the Happy Bar with Israel Savage. I'm usually a pretty positive person, but I felt like I was having like a little bit of a negative view on this quarantine because I was like thinking about all the things that I couldn't do. And it was like really throwing me off because there's so many things that like creative projects I could do. But like, I was just like, so like, I don't know, I would like get like kind of down and like annoyed and frustrated. Like I'd like, you know, like tune into the news or something. And obviously like it would be hard hearing and seeing those things that are going on in the world not, I don't know, just trying to stay positive and focused throughout mm-hmm. the whole thing and not really good one day and then like a little bit down the next day. That's kind of how I've been feeling. I love the words that you used and what was underneath those words. And so you use the word battle and battling with this thing. Whenever we have that sort of relationship with something, the pushing away, whenever we have the aggressive pushing away of something, that's the surest way to make it bigger. Have you ever been afraid of as a kid of the dark or, and the more you think about the monster that might be under your bed, <sighs> the bigger your feelings of fear get. And then it becomes this huge monster and you're hearing things. And whenever you are battling something, it seems like, Oh, we're pushing it away, but that's a relationship. Battling is a relationship. It's actually more of a relationship than if you were friends with something there's more energy behind it than, than if you had uh, were friends with something. And so the pushing against, whenever we focus on something, even in the pushing against, we make more in our lives. And so I was using the example of as a kid, when you're afraid of the monster that might be in the room, and then you start to think about it, and then you hear noises, and you see shadows, and you, you see things, and uh, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And so this thing that's not, that really has no power over you, we give it power with our focus by battling it. Here's a pathway to acceptance that I want to offer. Our goal is is not to be happy all the time or joyful all the time. That that's not our goal because we need those moments of contrast where where oh I don't like this so we can clarify what we do want. That's the creative process. There's the the asking of the question so we notice the answer. The seeing of the problem so we know, notice the solution. We want to pivot quickly, but that is the ebb and flow that we want to feel. Speaking of flattening the curves, what we want to do is really just get to the point where we notice faster and pivot quicker as well. And that's all we ask for. We want there to be ebbs and flows, and we want there to be times that we like and times we don't like as much, and here's why. If we didn't have those, we would not be growing and expanding. When you reach beyond yourself into the unknown, as you grow and you grope around, you're going to put your hand on yucky stuff sometimes. Sometimes you'll put your hand, and I'm thinking of monkey bars. You know, my daughter, she was four or five and they had these little monkey bars at her school. And she was at first, no upper body strength. She couldn't even hold on. And then she did one rung and then another rung. And she made it her mission the whole year to get the whole way across. And I love that about her. But inevitably, when you're reaching on the monkey bars and trying to find your your space, there might be a piece of gum up there. There might be some, some dust. Who knows what the kids have left up there for you to reach on to? You don't know. You're not going to like it, maybe, or maybe you, you want. But that's part of the growth. That's part of the process. Let yourself off the hook that there are going to be times that you notice things that you don't like. And just make the game here noticing quicker and pivoting quicker. And understanding that there can even be an appreciation for the things that we don't like and noticing those things. Wow, I'm so glad that I had that. Listen, there's nothing like a week on the couch to make you want to get up and do something. 
we may think that, oh, you know, if I stay on the couch, I'll never want to get up. That's not true. It's only delicious and delightful because it's in contrast to what we normally experience. But eventually, it's not going to feel good anymore to be on that couch. And, and you're going to have a desire to get up and do something. And so you can't mess this up. You just can't. If anything in this episode resonated with you, take a moment to subscribe and then share it with just one person. It's our mission to make the world a happier place. One insight, one shift, one share at the time. Just one button click from you might be the very thing that helps someone else's life click into place. Until next time. Remember, if you'd like more tips on this topic, then go to the link posted in the description of this broadcast.